knows that um, Newnham was hit with a um, F4 180 mile an hour tornado. Um, hey, Robin. And um, our church was demolished. And, um, you know, we, we can rebuild. But there's only one loss of life. And, um, and it's heartbreaking. Um, the gentleman, he was like 54, 56 years old, something like that. Um, yeah, so he, he passed away as he was trying to help her, uh, his daughter. Um, but anyway, that, that was the only loss of life. And, um, but it, it's very sad that this man passed. Um, but a lot of people have lost their homes. And, um, like I said, our church was demolished and, um, you know, we're, Hey, we are a faithful community here. So we know that God has a better plan. Um, but just keep Noonan, Georgia in your prayers, please. And our church is uh, Calvary Chapel Noonan. Um, and there have been so many kind people helping and, and doing things. I uh, do want to tell y'all, um, John and I were taking food to one family um, who had a bunch of volunteers at their house. And, of course, it was Sunday morning. Chick-fil-A was closed because that was my go-to. So I called one of the Wendy's hamburger joints here because they also have chicken sandwiches. And I thought, you know, let's try. So I called and um, told the man I needed 14 chicken sandwiches and I was taking them to volunteers. And um, y'all, when I got there, he would not let me pay for anything. He said, this is on me. And he brought out a case of cold bottled water, you know, tall bottles. And I mean... Y'all, man, that, that just, it touched my heart so much. And there's that, that kind of thing's going on everywhere around here. And there was a young teenager there, a young man, his name was Isaiah. And I, I get chills every time I tell this, his name was Isaiah. Y'all, he, he just, he looked so just precious. The boy just looked precious, you know, and and um, he carried the bottled water to my car, and he says, he he. I told him about our church and where the food was going and everything, and he goes, where can I help, or how can I help? And I said, honey, you just did. Thank you for carrying this heavy thing of water. It's a whole case. And he said, no, ma'am, and y'all, he looked me straight in the eye, and he goes, where can I help? Where do I go? What can I do? And I'm just like, oh, my word. So I got my church uh, Facebook page and he took a photo of it with his phone. That was the only thing I could think of at the moment. And, um, and his name is Isaiah and y'all, I just, I wanted to just squeeze him anyway, but that might get weird, you know, squeeze him and you're like, sorry, that got weird, you know, but anyway, y'all, all, all that kind of stuff is happening right now. Okay. So, um, enough about all that y'all because we are living it here so we're gonna we're gonna have a little fun tonight we're gonna make i'm gonna teach y'all a new a new technique <clears throat> and i'll show you i'm gonna show you a couple of cards but it's how we're gonna frame we're gonna put a frame around some things um tammy it's true i mean like it was so hard to not just wrap my arms around but i could have broke him. he wasn't very big and I wanted to hug somebody so bad, so I didn't. I just didn't. But um, yeah, Angela lives here in this area, and and uh, Teresa does as well, and Robin. And I know there's so many, there's so many things that just so many stories are coming out, y'all. One couple was saved, and I mean, there's no reason they came out alive. There's no reason except what they call a pony wall. It's a half wall. And they were huddled under in that. But they, um, Nyoka, I'm talking about the uh, tornado that came through. And just real quick, I'm going to finish, and then I'll go on to crafting. But um, this couple, there's really just no reason they could survive. But their, new, their story to the news was, and this is where I just love what God does, because the man said, I didn't believe in miracles, but now I do. Okay, so um, just be in prayer for Coweta County, Noonan, Georgia. We're going to make picture frames, y'all, around our image. And I love Donkey, too. He's a happy donkey. And this this is kind of a flirty donkey because he's got a rose for his donkey et. Um, and, you know, they kind of float in the air, the donkeys do. 
but you can, if you have the donkeys, why am I using that? I need my bum, bum, bum. Say it with me, everybody. Scary dental tool. <laughs> but if you just draw a line, and now this is a stamp, the little, you know, grass like that. I drew those pieces of grass right there. So, you know, you can just draw your own grass. He is the God of miracles, Nyoka. We had no deaths in this F4 double rotation storm unprecedented 180 mile an hour tornado. I mean, the man that died was was not a direct hit from the tornado. He was trying to get to his daughter and he died of a heart attack as he was uh, walking or running to her house. Um. Anyway, y'all, I, I, I may come and go with that because because it's what we're living right now, okay? But Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Okay, y'all, other news. While I'm cutting this down, I'm going to, this is a this is just a card, okay? And I'm using the, thank you for tagging someone, Tammy. Y'all keep tagging your friends. Uh, five and a quarter by four will be the next. Oh, look, we're already at five and a quarter. How cool are we by four? Can y'all even, see? no, you can't. Hold on. Five and a quarter by four. Um... Our first layer here is five and a half by four and a quarter. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? So the next one's going to be a whole quarter down all the way around. There's the other side. It's pretty, but that's not what we're going for today. We're going for this, okay? Um, because we, y'all, we are going to use some chickens and y'all know this is my favorite right this is the little chick we're gonna take a picture of you're right tammy a female donkey is a jenny not a donkey at but you know it i'm far enough south in georgia i can get away with saying donkey at <laughs> right um my hands are all beat up but we're gonna go ahead with this so these y'all know these stamps were um in our 2017 celebration, right? Well, they, of course, you know, I've told y'all they came back and with the Hey Birthday Chick, the uh, companion set, and like this is like four years old, but they brought out dies for these guys. And, and all of these are the dies, which y'all have probably seen before. Um, and then we got dies for these guys. So I'm really... Oh, the naked chickens. Yes, the naked chickens. They're poor things. They got a little fluff fluff right there. You know, we might can put... <laughs> Greg's laughing. We might can put um, something on them, some clothes or something. I don't know. Um, maybe I can knit up something real quick for them. You know, really and truly, we might do something fun with that, Nyoka. Nyoka's so funny. <laughs> Not the naked chickens. Chickens! Yes. Okay, so y'all know I've talked about this before. It's got a little sticky left, but not much. So we're going we're gonna to fix it. Uh-oh, please hold. Oh, dear. I got stuck in my, in my block drawer, y'all. Bikini on the chicken! That would be so cute. Okay, so I'm, y'all know this is the, this is the page that comes with the, I don't know. Well, anyway, um, you peel off the labels on these red rubber stamp thingies. <coughs> Excuse me. I've, I've got to, I got to hit my little drink. Okay. So when I, when I peel this off, it's hard to explain, but when I peel this off, I'm just going to stick it down. Okay. And, um, my friend Lisa, Lisa showed me how to do this and the technique on making this frame before I forget y'all the technique on this is from, oh, poo, Linda Heller. That's it. Linda Heller at Stampin' School. Y'all, there's a better way to do this, and I should have done it that way because I'm telling you, my hands are chewed up, and I don't have any nails. Hold on. Please hold. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. I peeled it off, and now I'm just going to lay him down, and I'm just going to stick it on there. There we go. See? Just going to stick it right on. So now he'll stay, right? Uh, cut a little fabric apron for I might do that, Tammy. We might dress this girl up tonight. Um, Greg says a girl donkey is a Ms. Donkey Donk. <laughs> yes, it's a donkey.
donkey donk. I love it. I love it. That's what it is. It's a donkey donk. Um, what was I doing? Oh, oh, oh. I've got white card stock right here. Where, let's see. Yeah, that ought to be good. Okay, so now we're going to get our black ink out. Our little Memento Tuxedo black ink. Um, I have... I have a really good reference of what the different inks are for, what they do, yada, yada. If you want that, let me know, um, and I can get that to you. Hmm. Here, we can go this way. Okay, and if you're watching and you haven't commented, please do so I'll know you're here. It does not cost a thing extra to let me know you're here. <laughs> True story. Where am I going? Okay, I have to fix my little circle. Okay, y'all. So now, y'all know my story about my markers, right? I don't really have, I don't have a lot of Stampin' Up! markers, but we're going to give her some pink hair. Um, I do have some. This is the um, Lovely Lipstick, which I don't know who, why they let certain people name these things, because, mm -mm, no. But they do. So this one's going to have her a pink tail. And we're going to give her... And Nyoka, we're going to give her some clothes, okay? We're going to get. We're gonna give her some clothes. She's not going to run out in the streets looking like this. But her hair is another story. It's just going to be wild and crazy. Tammy, I know you're here. <laughs> Thank you. I know you're here, girl. Yes, ma'am. And I know you tagged a friend. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all tag a friend. Let's get this out there. Okay, so we got um we got the purple hair, I mean the pink hair, and now we're gonna go with maybe this color, and this is uh daffodil delight. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna put put the daffodil delight in there and let her have, you know, she's a little, she's a little hip, this chicken. She just a little hip, and she loves to have her picture made, and she loves to be framed on the wall. Okay, so now the rest of her body, y'all, that we're going to cut, we are, we're going to give her some clothes. I'm going to use my Copic marker because I don't, y'all know my story, right? Who does not know my story about my markers? Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you, because, but most of y'all know. So, before Stampin' Up! started selling markers that match perfectly with our inks, I might add, and they match perfectly with our embellishments and our cardstock and our paper and everything, okay? But before that happened, we didn't have alcohol-based markers, or I should just say alcohol markers. So, I... You know, I was I love paper crafting and stuff, so I love make cards. So I needed some alcohol markers. So I started investing in Copics, right? Um, so yeah, so I had started investing in these, and it's an investment, y'all. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna pretend that it's not. Um, so then Stampin' Up comes out with their markers, and I'm already you know a couple of hundred dollars deep into my little markers, and I'm like, mm -mm, no. So the, the Stampin' Blends that I do have are some that I have received at events with Stampin' Up. And uh, they were basically their freebies. And I'm very appreciative of them. But, um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying a bunch of markers when I already have markers that will do, right? Are they perfect? No, but they will do. Okay, so I'm just going to blend... Oh, dear, that's the wrong one. I'm just going to blend this in. Not that. Well, she's going to have a shirt on anyway. She's going to have a shirt with a for Nyoka is what she's going to do. She's going to wear her shirt for Nyoka. Just blending all that in. Okay, give it a little dimension. Let's give her a little wing here. Wingy. All right. Um, I think, I think I want to cut her out. Yeah, I do. I want to cut her out, y'all. Ah, so, y'all, I'm going on... Oh, look at the fence, y'all. I've got... Y'all know, I've got me some... I've got me some uh, screen here. Um, I don't care for Copics, but I love my Stampin' Blends. I love the Stampin' Blends, too. And, I, you know, I wish I had a need 
you know, I wish I could validate or whatever you want to call it, buying all that, but I can't because, you know, I've already got, I've already got them. I've already got alcohol markers. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe that, maybe this is it set over here. Oh, I put the, I put the wrong chicken in the wrong thing. Hold on. Here she comes. Here she comes. Okay, so we're just, we're just going to cut her out, y'all. Like this. And, um, I know, oh, y'all going to love this. Hold on, hold on. This is going to be fun, because this is how we're going to dress her, y'all. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to tape this down. Get it as close to perfect as I can. Perfect. Why, oh, gee, it's perfect. All right, let me get all these guys over here. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, dear. Y'all, I have some happy mail. I forgot to show you. Oh, okay, before I pull out my um big shot, I want to show you my happy mail. Y'all. This card right here is so beautiful. Angela sent me this, and it is so beautiful. And she's used the um, the vellum, well, acetate, actually, acetate sheet that's printed. And it, it fits perfectly over the um, designer series paper, which is underneath. You see how it looks? And, um, and then she used the gold leaf here. And I love this card so much. And... Um, Anyway, it's it's in the it's in the catalog right now. Fine Art Floral is the name of the suite, and right now the suite is on back order. If you try to order all of it, you can't. But you can order it piece by piece because the um, the adhesive that um, that you use to put your gold leaf on and the gold leaf are both back ordered. So, but you can order the ribbon and the uh, paper and the stamps, everything else, okay? All right, and then, y'all, how sweet is this? Oh, Angela, yes, I have had a tornado brain all it, Yes, it, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's like, what in the world, you know? Y'all, my husband gets the mail, which means I can't hide anything, right? But anyway, he gets the mail, and he brought me this today. Is this not the sweetest thing? This is from my friend Jan, and she is in Colorado. And y'all, look at that fold. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I love, and she's put, y'all know, y'all know, I love me some vellum. She's got vellum under the cross, and she's cut the cross out with one of the, um, it, it, it looks like the copper, um, Jan, if you're still here, this is one of the copper sheets, right? And, this this cross is beautiful. And y'all, the butterflies and these butterflies, I love it. And then vellum under this circle here. I love everything about this. And it's just beautiful. And it sits so pretty. And yes, you want to make a fancy card like this. It's an Easter card. So Angela, we, we're going to have FaceTime like tomorrow so you can make it, right? I'll have to figure it out while we're, you know, while we're FaceTiming. But hey, we'll figure it out. Okay, big shot time. And thank you, ladies, for those beautiful cards. I love them so much. It's so sweet to get a handmade card in the mail, isn't it? All right, so I'm putting my little chicken down. And again, with the, with the supplies, Stampin' Up! has a Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Janice, I do too. It's so pretty. That cross is just beautiful. Stampin' Up! has a... Uh, S-C-E-M, Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And it's not a big shot. Look look how look how sweet she is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But wait. Somebody wants her to have some clothes. What do we do? Hmm? Okay, I got an idea. We are going to give her... Let me find something fancy for her. Oh, this is fancy. Hold on. Hold on. She needs something fancy, y'all. Hold everything. So when you want to put clothes on your naked chicken, all right? Um, why don't I have any pieces here? Hold on. Okay. Who y'all? I'm gonna have to have another, another um, another nap. Okay. So we're gonna give her some clothes. Let's see. Um, 
Nyoka wants to learn how to make the fold. Okay, okay. And um, love the cross. Me too. Marilyn's phone's been acting up. Marilyn, put another quarter in it. Is your snail mail address anywhere, Kathy? No, but I will send it to you. And here goes some chicken clothes. Y'all see what I'm doing? I put the whole die over patterned paper, all right? Because this chicken, she went shopping because it's almost Easter and she needed something fancy to wear. And, you know, her mom used to buy her these little dresses and she had to wear these little anklets with these patent leather shoes. And, and the anklets would eat her socks, but now she's all grown up. And she's like, I don't have to wear that stuff anymore, right? <laughs> so she went shopping and she bought her own dang Easter something. So hold on and I'll show you what it's going to look like. Hold everything. Okay, where's our chicken? Here she is. Y'all, am I crooked or what? Oh, my phone is crooked. Please hold. Part of this is crooked. Oh, there we go. See? That's all it takes. Put some clothes on that naked chick. I think she needs some fishnet stockings. <laughs> she does. Okay, so y'all see how this fits right over her? But wait, let's do this. Hmm. Let. Oh, you know what I could have done was stamp her. That's what I could have done. Let's do that. I may or may not get this right, but hey, you know what? It. It's not an exact science. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this is not going to go well, but I'm still going to stamp her. See? Hey, y'all, I think I got it. I Oh, oh yes, that's pretty good. Pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to cut her tail out. Oh, oh, don't do that. No, no. I kind of wanted some yellow on here, but it looks like I'm not going to get what I want, right? And then I'm going to, what I'm doing, I'm just cutting around. I'm cutting the legs off. I'm cutting off the, oh my goodness gracious. Look, look at her. Y'all, I got, I got to hold her up close to you. I really wanted more color on her, but that's okay. Look, she's got a little shirt on or something. Let's see. I'm watching you and reading text from my daughter and her hub. She's in the hospital about to have her baby. Oh. Yay, Janice! Congratulations early. How about that? Janice is waiting on her daughter to have her baby. I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I like it, but I really wanted more color, y'all. But it's just too bad. I can't have everything I want. I think I'm going to go with this side. It, it can be done. I mean, it's not perfect, but it can be done. I like this side. <laughs> oh, hey, Christine! Oh, Tammy Poo. All right, well, tell him I said hi, all right? Yeah, this will work. We're going to put some clothes on our naked chicken, y'all, right there. Okay, all right. <laughs> and this is for my sweet friend, Nyoka, so she doesn't have to look at a naked chicken. <laughs> naked chickens. All right, all right. This is so cute, y'all. I mean, you can just, you can cut out stuff and uh-oh, dress up your chicken, you know, you know, you know, right, right, okay, there we go, she's, she's now got her little clothes, <laughs> um, cool chicken, yes, moo moo, <laughs> a moo moo, put a moo moo, yes, it looks like a moo moo on her, <laughs> oh, Yes, Janice, um, post pictures so, soon as mom and dad say you can, right? Isn't that the way we have to do it these days? I know, I know. All right, so we are now going to put her, we are going to put her in a picture. Now, um, like I said, now this, this is a technique that I learned from Linda Heller at Stampin' School, Okay. And I'm going to cut this. Y'all, I have, I know it's printed really big, but I keep this by my desk, okay? And it's, it's printed so large, but it's, y'all, if y'all want to take a screenshot, um, where would I put it? Um, like this, and then maybe, let me get the glare off. Yeah, y'all do a screenshot and then trim up your picture, I guess, and get this background, background out. So I'll give you one two, three, 
seconds maybe. Okay, that should be good. So you start out with a five and a half by four and a quarter, and you go down a quarter each time. All right, that that's all it is. It's not it's not big science, or you know who wouldn't be able to do it, <laughs> right? Okay, so we've we've got our five and a quarter by four, and this finished size is gonna be a little bigger. So I'm gonna go four and a quarter by three on this. Four and a quarter by three. And then we're going to go over here, and we're going to go yeah, right there. That looks good enough. Doesn't that look good enough? Let's see how our little girl likes that. Oh, she likes that just fine. So I'm going to just, uh, before I draw on it, let's look at yeah. this. We're kind, we're kind of creating as we go, okay? Let me take this right here. I think Ninja Man's on the phone over there. Yeah, we're going to put her with some chicken wire behind her. How about that? She's in the coop, y'all. She is in the coop. All right, hold on. I'm going to zoom us in a little bit. Okay. All right, I was making sure that wasn't my son on the phone. There's My husband got a call, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because, you know, when the kids call... When those grown-up kids call, you just kind of stop and do, um, yes, this is her Easter Moo Moo. She is stepping out in style. This is her Easter Moo Moo, and she is, she is hot to trot in her Easter Moo Moo. She has a kitty cat friend, and, you know, but anyway, that, I don't know why I put the kitty cat on there, but there was a kitty cat. And y'all, I got cards over here to show you that I made that are different, but we're using the same idea. Um, y'all, probably the best thing to do here would be use the, um, just use the Tombow glue because you get, it gets sticky all the way. You know, you can see the glue kind of shiny. We don't really like that, but, um, but I'm going to use this anyway because, because the chicken's going to cover it up. Right? Right. And I'm just trying to get it on here. But this is like the worst way to glue it down. So. Let's see. I think I'm going to, you know, they went, they went to the store and bought chicken wire. But they didn't, they couldn't afford to make a big piece that matched. So, you know. Um, <laughs> of course. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. So she's going to cover up the little, you know, thing that she really don't want the neighbors to see. That her fence doesn't match very well. So we're just we're just gonna cover that up so she's not embarrassed. I mean, it's it's one thing for her to you know strut around the yard in her moo moo, her Easter moo moo. But it's a whole nother thing for somebody to see her her um janky acres fence, right? Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like the picture she wants to send her boyfriend, right? Okay, who wouldn't, right? Um, now, what we could have done was, you know, we could have drawn a little hill behind her and some grass and stuff. But why would we do that when we got a janky fence? Okay. All right, so here we go. This is discontinued, but we do have, we do have some uh, designer series paper that looks textured, and some of it looks like wood. Um, it's called In Good Taste, and man, I love this paper. Um, yes, you have to cover up the things that you don't want the neighbors to see because the neighbors have, have Facebook and they're going to tell everybody about you. You know, they will. Um, we're all the time trying to cover up over here. Anyway, so, um, yes, this is, this is discontinued, but, um, you can get the paper called In Good Taste. And again, I don't know who they let name stuff. Y'all, I know this is big. Hold on. I did it right the first time. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sure this is, y'all, this is history. We are making history. I did not zoom further in. I zoomed out. Yes. Okay. So I, I'm cutting these at, boom, 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 scary dental tool. I'm cutting these at a quarter inch right there. All right. So I'm going to have four. I'm going to go one, and then I'm going to go. 
two, and then go three. Y'all remember that little owl that you say how many licks does it take to eat a Tootsie Pop? Three. Because he bit into it or something. I don't even know. All right. Now what we're going to do here, y'all, and again, I learned this from Linda Heller and <laughs> Making History. True story. It's Making History on the Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. No, we're not Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. Y'all, Kathy Bowes Crafting Show is live on Facebook on Thursdays at 1 p.m. Not right now, silly me. Right? Okay. Goodness gracious. But it is Making History on three... <laughs> <laughs> on the um, Creatively Blessed card making page. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to put some. All right, we're not going... Oh, I like that side better. We're going to put just some adhesive. All right? Um, oh, Nyoka, I, I would love a Tootsie Pop, I'll tell you what, but I'm wearing the ones I ate back in the 70s and 80s. I'm still wearing them, girl. Still wearing them. All right, I, I am... Y'all think I'm kidding, old oh, girl. Mm. I'm lining this up. This is why I cut my cardstock a little big, okay? Oh, dear. That's a that's a terrible job of line. Hold on. Did y'all know that you can you can huff on your um on your on your adhesive and get it to release? Watch. And you pull just a little bit. Boom. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Hold on. I'll go back. I'll go back. I promise. Okay, there we go. So see, it comes off. All right. And nobody, nobody died. Not really. Not about this. Okay. So I'm going to, to get it better this time, I'm going to stand it up and do this. All right. So it's not stuck down here and here, just in the middle. And see, it's lined up with the edge. That's the main thing. You want to line it up with the edge. And it doesn't matter. You can go like this or this and this, what, however you want to lay it on there. And I like to, you know, once in a while I see some interesting wood grain in it. So, you know, put it. I'll put that side facing up. But we're we're making a frame, and and y'all are going to be like, what? Because I was like, what? And you know, she couldn't hear me because it was a video. But I was going, what? <laughs> All right, so this one I have to eyeball because, because I can't really get it to the edge like I did the other. So I'm just going to eyeball and I'm going to make sure it's it's on the edge on both sides right there. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Yes, y'all, I am like batting a thousand tonight. Hopefully that's good. Should you bat a thousand? Hopper, can I bat a, is batting a thousand good or is that really bad? If it's good, then I'm batting a thousand. Okay, so I'm going to put this one again right on, oh, come back, come back. I can do this. Okay, right on the edge. Whew, y'all. Okay, all right. Okay, so now I'm going to take, oh boy, my hands are big, aren't they? Whew. All right, I'm going to take my, um, my washi tape, all right? And yes, perfect, batting a thousand. Yes! Okay, I'm taking the washi tape and I'm going to put it on my shirt, okay? I'm just rubbing it on my shirt. Why? Because um, I want to get some of the sticky off, okay? We don't want it to be like crazy sticky. Now, I'm going, I don't want to, you'll see, okay, you'll see. I'm going to tape it like, like this, all right? I've just taped it there because I want to keep these two pieces from moving away from one another as I scooch in here. You see the, the tip of my scissors right there? Right there. Well, I'm making sure that my scissors tip is right there and that the part that does that is right there, okay? I don't even know what that part's called but I'm, I'm not even going to bother Googling it right now because I'm busy. Okay, so I'm going to go snip. You see where we're going with this? That's getting a hit at every bat. Well, that's what I'm doing, Hopper. That's what I'm doing. Okay, all right. And then, and then, now she's, y'all, she's wearing her Easter Moo Moo. 
She's sending this picture to her boyfriend, the rooster. He says she's his only girl. But I don't believe that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Because he's a roo, right? Okay, so we taped that one down, and now we're going in the corner. And you got, I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's an art to this, y'all. You can't just come in here crazy and start cutting things. All right, so I made sure that I cleared the little card up under. The card up under, right there. It, look at that. Y'all, is this the cute? Which way are we going? We're going that way, so I'm going to tape it this way. The... It takes a little bit of paying attention. Oh, y'all didn't see me do that. He's a bit cocky. Yes. <laughs> yes, Nyoka. And wait till you see the other cards I made. I hope you can hang out for that. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Cut it right there. I hope I did that right because I was talking the whole time. Yes. Yes. All right. So you see these little corners are coming up, but that's what we want, right? <laughs> that rooster's a little cocky. Yep. All right. So we're going to tape that down. And here we come. Sorry, I go out of screen every time I do that because y'all, I've zoomed. I have zoomed. And I'm I'm sitting here sweating, wondering, <laughs> will I be able to zoom out properly? <laughs> Only time will tell. All right. Here we go. Boop. Okay, y'all. So we have perfect corners. Okay. So now we're going to take our our um Tombow glue. This is really the best glue to use for this. And we're just going to put, you don't want to get crazy. Don't get crazy. Okay. Don't do it. All right. But we're going to put a little bit right there because we don't want it oozing out. This is a picture for her boyfriend, the rooster. A mitered corner. Yes. Um, Hopper, why does a chicken coop have two doors? Okay. Does anybody... Y'all play along now. We got to find out why does a chicken coop have two doors? This ought to be good. All right. Let's see who knows. Why? Janice says why. I say why. Two doors on a chicken coop. I don't know, but when we had chickens, I didn't want, oh man, I did not want to go out there because snakes, y'all. The snakes were like chickens. Yeah. It's awful. Uh-oh, look at this. I'm not wounded. I can take it right off, but I'm just saying. Yes, Janner Miter, duh, couldn't remember it. Oh, well, I, yeah, Bias Miter, I, I don't know. I don't, and I remember now, yes, Bias is the grain of the fabric. That's right. But Miter is good. Yes, Miter is what we're doing. So, y'all, I could totally go into woodworking as my new career because I know how to do this now. Now, I'm not going to say I know how to do it perfect, but, you know. All right, little glue here and there. We got we got two more little pieces, y'all, and we're almost ready. We're almost ready. So she's sending this to her boyfriend. Okay, Hopper, because if it had four, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so funny. That is cute. That is so cute. All right, so she's got her picture. In her Easter Moo Moo that she's sending to her boyfriend, the Roo Roo, right? Nyoka, you know I've noticed more people are getting chicken nowadays than ever before. Oh, because nobody trusts anybody to do anything right. And they're, they're y'all, yeah, can you see that too? I, I mean, it's like happening, okay? I'm okay though. I, I don't need a doctor. Okay. But yes, they are, um, they are. People are, I don't know, they're just messing with our food. Um, but, but I'll tell you, the chickens that laid eggs in our backyard for a while, that was the best, the best eggs we probably ever had, ever, ever. They are so rich. Um, of course, they were on some kind of organic food or something. All right, I'm going to go back out or not. No, darn it, darn it, there went my thousand. Ugh. But it's actually after the game. I already batted a thousand. That that's done. I bet her Ruru would like those fishnet stock. I bet he would. I bet he would. But she's like, I like my legs. <laughs> she's like, I like these legs. They're all lumpy. <laughs> no, my grandgirls carried those uh, chickens all over this yard, and y'all, it was it's hilarious. Our uh, our oldest grandchild, Phoebe Joe. 
she's not the oldest grandchild. She's the oldest between the two. Um, here we go. We're going to put that right there. Um, she, <laughs> she would get one of those chickens, y'all, and she would carry that thing and those big old chicken legs sticking out and the chicken's going, <laughs> oh, Hopper's got to go to bed, y'all. Okay. Y'all say good night to Hopper. We'll miss you, Hopper. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Putting this on. Y'all say good night to Hopper. Robin, going to get ready for work. Miss you, Kathy. We need to get. Yes, Robin, I miss you too. And we hope to see you. One of these days, we're having our uh, second shot soon, and that's a long story. But anyway, probably get out more after that. Um, okay, I'm put. I'm just putting the hanger on here, okay? Because, you know, she's she's sending it to him, but he may not hang it up. So she's saying, "Look, Mister, you better." Okay, so now I'm getting out some little embellishments. Good night, Hopper. Bye, Robin. Okay, I'm going to get some of these little guys out. Thank you for hanging out, Hopper. I'm going to use, let's see. Do I have a, I got a pinkish one. Yeah. Hold on. I don't even know if I can pick them up. I'll just dump some out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I didn't need 400. I want, um, ooh, this is kind of fun and festive. Angela, every time I say festive, you know I think of you. That's so stinking funny. Oh my goodness. How festive. <laughs> okay, so we are going to use this little guy who uh, we used to have. I don't think we even carry these anymore. Um, no, no, no. You know what we have. Hang on. We have the, the um, take your pick tool. I'll use, no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. But the take your pick tool will also put, um, it'll also put a hole in stuff, right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to decide, where do I want the hole? I want the hole right. Now, what I'm doing, y'all, I'm looking down here and on the sides, and I want more up top. So there we go, okay? And I'm going to put the little hole like this. There we go. Then I'm going to take this itty bitty brad. Can y'all see it? Uh-oh. Hold on. Itty bitty brad. And it's it's purple. You can't really tell, but it is. But somebody said that her roux loves purple. So she's like, well, I couldn't find me a purple Easter moo moo, but I can get a purple thing to put the, my picture up with. Right? Okay. So... I should have waited to separate those legs on this thing. All right, here we go. Put this through the little hole, okay, like that. Festive, yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to separate the little leg things on it and go like this. Y'all, my hands are not great right now. Okay, we got our little Brad, right? Okay, and then I'm going to hang her little picture on here like this. Okay, and just, just to be sure, I'm going to put it like, just glue it down a wee bit. Okay, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, okay, so I like it like that. All right, and I do have some more that I made to show y'all in a minute. But here we go. This this is our little, this is our little, um girlfriend rooster, I mean chicken, sending it off to her little boyfriend, the rooster. And she's embarrassed about her fence, so she's standing in front of it so he can't see that, you know, it's got a seam that doesn't match. So she stood right in front of it to get her picture made. And um, and her moo-moo, it's a special Easter moo-moo, y'all. And uh, she wanted more color on it, but that's, that's what the store sold her, so she stuck with that. Okay, and we can put our little greeting. I'll show you some others with greetings on it. 
But how cute is this, y'all? Okay. So here's another one I made. And you see you can put the greeting on the corner. You can put it up here, whatever you want to do. And, you know, with this guy here, just like with these two, I drew, I just drew landscape and put some, uh, put some grass on it. Rooster Rob. My nephew got two roosters named them Waylon and Willie. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Barb. That's my sister, Barb, y'all. Say, hey, sister, Barb. We are in here making cards, Barb. This is the one we made tonight. And then this is one I made before. Now, let's say you don't really want to do farm animals. I can't imagine why. Okay, check this one out, y'all. Here you go. I love this one, y'all adventure awaits and with this one i used the let me see if i've still got it out here i should have so you see the hilly island thing it has all the the okay that is this it's this stamp um it's this stamp that i use just over and over you see the point there and then i came in a little bit here and a little bit i went off the paper a when I stamped this, I stamped off once and then onto the uh, cardstock, all right? And then I came back with the marker and I put what I, what I kind of see like if grass is blowing in the wind, there's just tufts of grass. I came back with the marker and did that. And then, of course, we have uh, the stalks and the tops for the palm trees. And then the little beach house here, right here. And then uh, the sun right here. Again, I, I stamped off with, with all of it, I believe. Um, and then put some uh, sky in here using this. Okay. So you see how the sky looks right here? It's this one. And, of course, you know, the stamp came out this far right so i just i just stamped here and then stamped but i stamped off first and um and then there okay so then the paper behind it all right please hold i'm going to show you the paper it is called sand and sea designer series paper i got several things to show y'all real quick the um the designer series paper now i love this because it it looks like sand right see that okay well here it is here it is, and that it looks sandy. Um, thank you, Nyoka. I love it. Um, I love the cut. I love everything about it. And um, Linda Heller, Linda Heller, um, showed this on her stamping school. You know what I forgot to do on that other card? I forgot to show y'all. She also said, "What to do with it?" Here it is. She also said, "Come back with a marker, and and mark these." corners so it'll stand out more and you could do that here um definitely did it on this one as you see um it's like a lighter brown now the inside i got a little crazy because i stamped my little house here my little cabana but then i put all the water down and i realized this thing's floating away so i had to draw me some land around it i don't even know what i was doing but that's what happened there um but yeah so so this, this is a fun technique. You don't have to use, you don't have to use a Brad, um, Stampin' Up sold these a long time ago, Suttles Candy Dots. And you see, I kind of hoard them. Um, thank you, Barbara. Really nice. I like the texture too. I kind of hoard these because they don't make them anymore and I just love them. So, you know, but you could use something like that. That's what's on this one right here. I did not use a brad. Okay, let's see what else I need to show y'all. Um, there was more stuff. Hang on, hang on. It's here somewhere. Or was that it? That might have been it, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock, so that should be... Oh, 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 no, no. I got to tell y'all about the things retiring. Um, okay, all right. I'm going to show y'all a picture. This right here is the Stamparatus bag, all right? And it's super cute, and it was $29, 
and it's retiring. It's $11.60 right now. Take a screenshot if you're interested in this bag and go to kathybow.stampinup.net and order yours before they sell out. Um, and, oh poo, wait a minute. And I will show it to you. This is mine. And I just keep this in here because when I bought my Stamparatus, it was in there. Um, it's got a little pocket here, okay, and got a little uh, snap for here. And, you know, if you don't want to use this for your Stamparatus, don't use it for your Stamparatus. But this is a bomb diggity bag, y'all. Look at this. Um, I'm quite certain I have carried food in this, but it's it's not made for food, y'all. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. But you can carry a sandwich over to someone's house if you have to, right? Um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put it in there for the whole day. But anyway, this is the back. It's got these handles, which are just stinking adorable. And then it's got the shoulder thing with the little pad here. We call that a shoulder my pad. And it's got the little Stampin' Up! thing here. Good hardware. I love this thing. So if I didn't have one now, I would be ordering it for real, for real. But then again, you could just order your Stamparatus and um, go ahead and get that out of the way. And now you got somewhere to carry it. Okay, besides all that, I want to show y'all something Ninja Man did. And I was trying to show y'all one night and I couldn't because I didn't have, the pictures wouldn't load for some reason, but they're here tonight. So, all right. We bought this table. This has nothing to do with the cards tonight. We bought this table. Now y'all, y'all can see the style, right? With those feet like that, whatever it's called. If y'all know furniture, tell me what that's called. Queen Anne or somebody. I don't know. King Edward. I'm not sure. Um, Anyway, we went to Habitat for Humanity's Restore, okay? And we found this table for like, I think it was like $60, maybe $40, something like that. And so I needed another table because what I had was a kid's table for them to craft on. And they got too big for the table. So I put that outside. and um, But we put their little kid table, and I mean little kids, right? And Ren's... The, the smallest one, and she's too big for it. So we need another table. So he sanded it down. He painted the top for me, and I wanted it that color, and there it is in the kids section of my studio. Now, that um, that plastic, I just put a, a dollar store shower curtain over it, and the girls have regular size chairs, which we need to paint those. I want to paint them that, uh, off-white color and the big picture frame on the wall is like a um it's a plastic it look it's so ornate but I bought it long before we uh restored this house and it's supposed to be around my bathroom mirror and one day it might be one day but not right now so anyway I just want to share that with y'all and um y'all I'm doing some pretty fun stuff over at um uh, on my Facebook page Thursdays at one o'clock, Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. And um, sometimes I post on uh, on my Creatively Blessed page to show y'all what I've made. Well, I'm making a chandelier to go over my tub. I am. Uh, yes, it's a drop leaf table, Nyoka. And um, really just the two kids would sit at it unless we have more. And I could open it up. It'll just take up a lot of room. Um, thank you, Angela. Um, you know, we, we had like the little kids table that was cutesy and all that. I put it outside and put a sign on it that said free to good home. And this, <laughs> so sweet, this lady pulls up and she just kind of pulls over on the road and, and she looks around like, is, is this really free? But I mean, the chairs were in excellent condition. They looked like little, um, the grandma's metal chairs for the porch that had that seashell looking back. They kind of were styled like that. And um, anyway, so she just kind of gingerly walked over to it. And I, I wasn't outside. I was just, you know, watching her on the surveillance cameras. And um, she put it in her car and took off. And I was so excited that, you know, we're blessing somebody else with it. Because so, our kids are just way too big for it now, which is kind of bittersweet. Um, so we needed another table. And um, that's, that's what we ended up doing. And the girls were delighted because they don't have to keep their knees up at their chin anymore. Hey, Lisa. Um, 
But yeah, so now we have this great table and the kids can craft there and they do, y'all, they do. They craft there all the time. So y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, please do continue to pray for Noonan in Coweta County. And my church is Calvary Chapel Noonan. Um, well, the people are the church, you know, and our pastor reminded us of that. But um, it was destroyed. And, um, you know, we're just, we're, uh, we have a women's conference coming up. If you're local to me, the women's conference is um, the last day of April to May 1st. So it's a Friday and a Saturday. It's $40 per person. And I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. We're going to have some excellent speakers. I'm speaking five five times, y'all. I don't mean I'm an excellent speaker. I mean, we have... Bye, Jan. Love you. Thank you. I mean, we have um, we have an excellent speaker. And then I'm in there five times, like eight to ten minutes each, I think, just to make people giggle. So anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming by. Love y'all and God bless. Toodles.